Hey guys, I'm here today in Stonehouse at Plymouth at the HQ building visiting the guys from DBI. I've done some real great work with Jabbo and his team here um, and they are fantastic at giving a platform and giving a voice and support to people from diverse communities and particularly those from the black, Asian, minority, ethnicity communities. Um, so they do a lot for businesses. Um, you'll find them at a lot of different networking events um, but I'm hoping today to chat to them and find out a couple of bits that I didn't know myself. So I always want to find out something new. So hopefully from a conversation today, we will find out something a little bit more. Hi Jabbo, thank you for having me here today. Um, and I'm just looking to find out a little bit more about what you guys do. So if you can tell us the name and the location of your organization, how can people find you? So um, the name is uh, Diversity Business Incubator. Most people know about DBI. And we are based in uh, HQ building on Union Street, 237 Union Street, in Plymouth. What is the core message within the, the organization and the values? And how do you benefit the community? So the core value is, uh, I mean, the core message or what we're trying to achieve is poverty reduction. We want to reduce the poverty in our communities, particularly in the black and Asian communities, because statistics proves that, yes, there's a big gap there. Um, the core values, there are three of them, passion, attitude, and gratitude. So all we do is with passion and gives that attitude of gratitude. We are grateful for everything and we appreciate a lot. So we do a lot of appreciation. What we give to the community is the um, sharing what we've got as knowledge, experience, but not in the sense of as a um, teacher and learner. Yeah. Everyone has something brings in the society. But say what we bring to the community is an opportunity or that platform for everyone to be able to express their talent and their ingenuity. Everyone is genius. But how do we celebrate it together? So we do a lot of celebration. We, we, we create platforms for celebrating everyone. Genius. How long has the organization been running? Five years. And could you tell us why you started your journey? I'll say two particular reasons. There's the personal one and uh, the bigger one. So the personal one is when I look at myself as an individual and um, I'm a father and I'm looking what is it, the legacy I'm leaving for my next generation, the children, my children to start with. What is it I'm passing it on? Because whatever I have today has been passed on to me from my values to my way of talking or anything I do is because my parents passed something to me. So starting a business is why I started is to create it a legacy for my children. But the second one it goes wider. Being a role model. I don't want to be just a role model to my children. I want to model the next generation. I want to be a role model to the next generation and create a, a, a bigger platform of more role models because it's really needed in this society. Risks of uh, being uh, lost higher. So we try to be those uh, pillars in the society so people can find the pathway. We can be the guard of, of the society. And could you talk about some of the services that DBI offers? Um, I'll categorize them in three. One, awareness of everyone is capable of starting their own businesses. That's why I go everywhere asking people, have you ever thought of starting your own business? And I'm asking it again. Whoever watching, have you ever thought of starting your own business? Because that's the journey to financial freedom. Secondly, have you got a business? How can we help? Or have you got an idea? How can we help? So we have the startup or awareness of startup. The second one is the support of startup businesses. But also the third one is the scaling up. Have you got a business and how can we help it to turn into a, a scale up? So scale up is when you start thinking about turnover of a million pound a year. Those are our mission, three of them. Awareness that everyone can start a business. When you start a business, what is the support we can give you? And if you're in the business, how can we help you to scale up? Is there any criteria that you have to meet to be able to access your services? Being passionate, having an attitude of gratitude, because we're all human. Thanks, Jabo. That was um, really great information, really rich. Um, and I think I can really see the importance of DBI and where it sits within the communities 
and elevating businesses and giving people from diverse communities, particularly black, Asian, minority, ethnicity, a platform um, and support. That's what everybody needs. Um, you know, as I know, I've, I've worked with you guys, I've collaborated on a lot of different things and it's been really, really beneficial. Um, networking has been so important and I've just really, really appreciated the support that you guys have given to myself, to Club Combat. So going forward, can I, I can count on you guys to continue your support with Club Combat in bringing fitness to diverse communities. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, and I shall see you all soon. Something else that I've just found out about whilst talking to some of the team is the communities of the soil and the grow bags, which you can see here behind me. Now, I've just been looking at them and, and um, smelling some of the herbs. I am crap at growing things and um, keeping things alive, apart from my kids, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think these are really, really cool. So you can purchase these grow bags and you can grow loads of different um, herbs and vegetables and they can come, like, there's lots of different types in here. So you've got rue, you've got thyme over here. You've got love it, love it, love it. Don't know if I said that right. Here, which um, reminds me of celery. But yeah, I think these are awesome. And it's communities of the soil and the um, vertical bag farms. So you can purchase these if you come into DBI. Um, and they've got loads over there. They've got edible flowers over there. Yeah, I think that's really, really cool. Something really different. And I will definitely consider having one of these in my garden and um, trying, to, trying to grow my own, which I think is awesome.